so this is the second presentation in the materials uh, in the production planning part so we have to discuss now about the some basics of the master data items that are there in the production planning uh, module uh, if we term it as a module and uh, the foremost is the material master data which we have discussed at length in the materials management part as well you can refer to that video and the important thing about the material master data is that uh, uh, it is uh, actually organized in different views you can see different views of material master data over here and so the important point is that there are different views associated with material master data and material master data one more thing to remember is that in sap the term uh, material refers to any material which is either uh, the finished course or it is a raw material or it is a semi-finished course or maybe it is just a trading goods or even uh, maybe some spare parts or anything for which we have we keep some permanent information in the system about those that particular product it's termed as the material master data so for example the tools uh, which are used in the factory uh, each one of the tool can have its own master data and another important thing about the material master data is that it is organized into different views as i said earlier and some of the views we can name them as a, uh, there is a basic view right which is normally maintained at the client level uh, there are a couple of basic views, basic view 1 and 2 and uh, there is then accounting views and there are then plant views, plant stock views and there are then sales and distribution related views and there are then purchasing or procurement related views. So there are multiple views and each data of the view is actually uh, maintained at a different level. For example, if you refer to the accounting view, you should recall that uh, from the accounting point of view, the central organization unit is actually company code because accounting of each company code is different. Maybe the chart of account uh, of each company code may be different or even at least the general ledger of each company code is definitely different. So the accounting view actually, if we enter a material master data, uh, then uh, we create the basic view, which is normally saved at the client level, right? So I'm not writing it, you should keep in mind. And if we create the accounting view, then it is saved at the company code level. So the system will first ask you that which, for which company code you are going to maintain the accounting view. So we will give the company code and we will give the, all the accounting related information like uh, uh, the inventory evaluation method and uh, to which general ledger account it should hit. Uh, there are a series of configuration steps. So that is actually saved in a uh, company code at company code level. But what does it mean when I say that we save it as a, at a company code level? It does mean that if another company code within the same client needs to use the same material, we need to create another accounting view because the company code is now different. So the same material which can have the same basic data because basic data is at client level and client is common for all the company codes within the clients. The accounting view can be different for each company code. So for example, for company code US00 that we are referring to in the global bike data set, uh, can have uh, 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 information regarding the valuation method and the price control and the general ledger account linkage, which can be totally different for the same material when we refer to the DE00 company code, which is the Jamma one. Similarly, if we refer to the plant view, then it is different for every plant. It, it means that we create the material for the first time and when we create the material for the first time, we first create the material for the first plant which is being, which is using that material. The system will ask us the plant ID, we will give the plant ID and the system will save all the plant related information like the storage location, etc, etc for that particular plant. If another plant, another factory of the same, within the same clients uh, needs the, the same material, need to procure or maybe manufacture the same material, we have to create another plant view, right, of the same material. Similarly, we can have sales and distribution view, which is sales organization specific. We can have procurement view, which is materials management module specific, etc, etc. Now, one more thing which we should keep in mind that uh, when we create a material master data, although these are the contents which have to be discussed in the materials master data in the materials management module, and uh, I think I have covered them there as well. Uh, the point is that if we have created a material once, the ID is universal. The ID is the client level, so the material is not required to be created uh, again as 
as, as far as the ID is concerned. But uh, if a new accounting view or a new plant view is to be created, then we refer it in SAP terminology, we refer it as extending of material, not actually creating of material, but extending of material, but we use the same T code as for creating the material. But if an, an accounting view is already maintained, for example, we have maintained the accounting view for US00 company code, and now we are to change the same accounting view of the US00 company code, then this transition will be known as the change of material. So creating the material, extending the material and changing the material. We should understand the difference between these three. Creating the material means creating the material for the very first time. Extending the material means creating another view of the same material which is already created, right? And the T code of extending the material is same, right? Which is that of the creating the material. And the third one is actually changing the material. It means and the view of the original view is already maintained. We are not going to actually create a new view of that particular material, but we are just going to change that particular material. For this, we usually we use the T code MM02, which is uh, the changing of the material. And then uh, coming on to the next master level, uh, after the material is the bill of material, the second master level. Third is the routing, fourth is the work center, and fifth is the product group. So coming on to the bill of material master data, I will cover it in the next slide. So keep uh, uh, watching uh, the next slide. Thank you.